Hello and welcome to Golden Lutz. I'm Jonathan and I'm going to be discussing the ladies short program at Skate Canada today and I was incredibly excited about this event. We have three American ladies who are competing which I'm very excited about. We have Courtney Hicks who I love, our current national champion Karen Chen, and Ashley Wagner the silver medalist at the world championships two years ago and a competitor for the olympics we would like to hope so first i want to talk about ashley because she didn't have the best skate here only able to score a 61.57 and i believe the combination was under rotated and the program itself is okay I wish she would have, you know, come up with something new. And, you know, a lot of people are going back to old programs, and I don't exactly ag agree with it because I think, you know, the judges and the fans, you know, they get a little bit tired of seeing the same thing over and over and over because we see it throughout the whole season. So now when we're going on the second season with the short and the third program, the th third season with the long, it gets a little bit old after a while I would say and also the choreography just isn't really there compared with some of the other ladies you know with Karen Chen, Courtney Hicks, the Russian ladies and you know Caitlin Osman which is on a whole other level but it's just not there I mean it's a lot of posing and it's a lot of fun but it's just really not where it should be to be honest and you know the jumps as you know, I was saying in practice all week, the jumps weren't really there, and I, you know, didn't expect it to be a perfect performance. But I was hoping for a little bit better than this just to kind of keep her in the mix for the Grand Prix final. But you know, she can always come back in the free. So I want to talk about Karen Chin, who scored a 61.77. This, oh, I thought it was higher than that actually. This was not the best for Karen Chen. Uh, I went into this thinking, okay, Karen, this is your time. You're fourth at Worlds. You're coming in. You want to contend for an Olympic medal. You want to contend for the gold medal. You need to kill this. And it just didn't happen. You know, the Lutz was huge, but it was crazy. And there's no way she got could have got a combination on that. I mean, she didn't even really finish that jump, so... I don't know, it's not her best, and I don't like the program. I want to like the program, because I loved her programs last year. Loved them, and I wanted to like them so, so bad, but, oh, it just didn't happen for me with this. I don't even know what to say. All right, I want to talk about the other American, Courtney Hicks, who is in fourth place, which I'm very excited. Courtney Hicks is very underrated. She just doesn't have the consistency on the jumps yet. I'm really hoping this season will be different. This could be her time to really stand out. And, you know, I mean, she could make the Olympic team with, you know, Mariah and Ashley, Karen, Mariah Bell, everybody kind of having disappointing starts of the season. So... Courtney, that triple flip, triple loop, I don't know how she got that triple loop out, that was crazy, but she did it, and she deserved a huge score for that jump, that even, she had no speed going into that loop whatsoever. If she can get that jump completely clean, and with everything else in the program, and with her program by Roheen, I mean, I thought it was absolutely an awesome, awesome, it shows off such... A softer side of her compared to what we've seen you know she's so strong and she has the powerful jumps and this is this program just paints her in a whole new light and I'm so thankful to Roheen for giving her this amazing program and she skated it beautifully and I was so proud of her then I want to talk about Marin Honda oh no poor Marin Honda it wasn't her day I mean I expected her to contend for gold here I, did, I couldn't believe, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing, you know. She's so talented, and, oh, I don't know. I mean, she's the one that everybody's saying is guaranteed one of the two Japanese spots, and, I mean, when you look at this compared to Wakaba Higuchi, and even with Rika Hongo, even though she's not the best, or even was really at her best here, 
I don't see... Oh, I just really hope she comes back strong in the free skate. All right, so now on to the Russians. We have Maria Soskova, which isn't my favorite of the Russians. She is... I don't want to say... She's very lyrical, but she doesn't have the attack or the fight in her programs that I'd like her to have. On the other hand, technically, so proficient. That combination was flawless, and she deserved huge GOEs for that. She has good spins. She, that Axel, I mean, that was just, I mean, I always almost thought Courtney was going to be ahead of her after the Axel, when she nearly singled, but I mean, she's a great skater. She doesn't stand out against the others who are so good in Russia. I don't see her making the Olympic team, but I think there's definitely a chance for her to make it. So on to Anna Pogorelia, which I love her. Oh my goodness, she's so stunning. Like, you just look at her in that beautiful blonde hair. Oh, she's stunning. And she was great here. I actually think she deserved a better score. I thought artistically it was great. Technically it was great. She performed the heck out of that program, which I love. I think her programs this season are better than the ones last season, or at least the short, because I loved it. Now we go on to, currently in first place, Caitlin Osman from Canada. Oh my goodness, in a league of her own. Besides Anna Pogorelia, who's, you know, I think should have been scored higher. But Caitlin Osman was great. Oh, her jumps are, I mean, perfection. I don't know that you get better than her jumps. They're huge. The rotation's great. Her, I mean, that first jump in her combination and her second jump, I mean was just as big as the first, which is she deserves all the GOEs for that. And she performed. Her spins were excellent. There's really nothing negative you can say about Caitlin Osman in this performance. I mean, I expected her to almost be over an 80 since we're in Canada. <laughs> I almost expected that, and I'm kind of sad we didn't see that. I want somebody to put the pressure on Yevgenia so bad. I want it to be more of a contest this season, so I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited to see the free skate tomorrow. I want to see everybody give it their best shot, and once again, I'm so proud of Courtney Hicks. She stepped up and gave a great performance, which the other Americans need to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And hope you guys have a great day. Bye.